your girl Leah Mia, aka Talia, and this place you want to be in. I don't talk long, you know how I go? Let's get into the video. Alright, what's up guys? So today we are going to be doing a college decision video, as you guys read by the title. And so what I'm going to do, the way I'm going to format this video is every time I'm talking about a different college, I'm going to go put on their shirt. Because if it's a college that I have a shirt to, it's a college that I toured, I want to talk about, and it's going to be one of my options of where I'm going to school. Do not skip to the end of the video to see where I'm going to school, but of course I'm going to tell you guys where I'm going at the end of the video, and let's get right into it. Alright, so the first school we are going to be starting with is Tuskegee Golden Tigers, and I'm starting with this one first because it took me forever to find the shirt. I could not find this. So a lot of these schools that I went to, I toured them way back when. So I'm going to leave y'all a little gym right here. If you are in a younger grade, like maybe ninth or 10th grade, start touring schools. Do not let people tell you, oh, you have time. You have time. Just wait. You don't have to worry about it right now. Because if you wait junior or senior year, Time is going to fly and you're going to be like, dang, I should have already started. You want to have an idea of where you want to go, whether you want to go out of state, stay in state, where you want to go. Even if you don't know what you want to do, start looking for a school if you think college is for you. Because if anything happens like me, junior year, half of it got canceled. You can't go anywhere. In 12th grade year, where am I going to go? COVID, where am I going to go? So if you have the opportunity while you are in like 9th and 10th grade, start touring schools. So we are starting with Tuskegee. And obviously it's out of state. I wanted to go there because they had a good vet program. So that was one reason I looked at the school. So I got there. First of all, it's a beautiful campus. It was cool to see the people. It was actually during a break that I went. It was break for me, but everybody else was still in school. So I'm going to put like pictures and videos up as I'm talking if I find them. If I find them, I told y'all it was a minute ago. But yeah, so Tuskegee, it was a cool school. One thing I did like is the girl there, the, my tour guide, she kind of changed my perspective on what I was doing. I really like the campus. The people there, they seem really cool. The only thing I did not like about Tuskegee was the amount of communal bathrooms they had. So she told me, and it's like two dorms that don't have communal bathrooms, or at least at the time it was. So I was like, okay, cool. I actually, we drove around and I got to see people's dorm. I was like, hey, can I see your dorm real quick? And they were like, yeah. And they took me through and they showed me. They were okay, but I don't like, I don't like communal bathrooms. I don't like the idea of that. I don't, no, I just didn't like the idea of that. So I was like, no. And another thing about Tuskegee is it looks really, really old because it is an HBCU. So it looks really, really old on the outside. But once you go in the buildings, it's actually so beautiful. And if you take a tour, it's like, you learn so much that you wouldn't actually know. And it's like actually a thing, like you cannot tear those buildings down because of some, something way back when. You're not supposed to actually like rebuild those buildings. So they, they just refurnish or redecorate everything on the inside, but the outside still looks really old. And I was just like, oh, okay. But other than that, the campus was absolutely beautiful. And yeah, next. All right, so the next school we are looking at is NC State, okay? And guess what? Veterinary medicine don't play. All I My mom screaming what the <laughs> okay y'all so my mom went to North Carolina State she went here she's screaming I'm like what the heck is that I had to okay anyways my mom went to NC State and I was saying before I was interrupted y'all I had a vision okay I knew what I wanted to do I thought I knew what I wanted to do I had a vision but as long as you have a vision you're on the right track it don't matter if it changes 20 million times at least you have a vision and you're working towards something but yeah so NC State let me tell you a few things about the campus so I thought the campus was okay. Something about it, it's like kind of like in the middle of the city. Like it's not like if you like the green greenery aspect of campus, like just being able to go out and lounge, NC State doesn't really have that. It's literally like, it's like its own little city, but it's just like, it's not a lot of greenery. And for me, that's important because I do like to be outside. Like I want to go outside. I want to study. I just want to hang out outside. I don't, I don't mind doing that. So that is something that I did look at when I was like touring these campuses. And that's one thing NC State did not have. And I was just like, oh, but one thing they did have, or like when I was on the, the tour guide, she told me, she was like, one thing about NC State that other schools don't really have is you can actually start like the classes for your major, your freshman years. And I was like, 
okay because literally i can shave school off like i need to go to med school like i need to shave some time off so i was like okay that's cool but the big damper for me was the campus but i was like i'm not gonna count it off yet so it's still a school that i keep so wolf pack go babies but yeah that was still a school that i kept in mind and it still is so yeah nc state baby <laughs> next all right y'all so the next school we're going to be talking about is kennesaw hootie who go owls so yeah, the next school is Kennesaw. This one's just a plain shirt. I didn't have no vision when I was looking at Kennesaw. So yeah, Kennesaw, first of all, absolutely. I don't think there's anything that I dislike about Kennesaw. I truly don't think there's anything that I was like, that kind of like made me like raise a thought or something. Like it was just, first of all, the campus, beautiful. It has that green scenery that I like. Like a lot of areas you can just lounge around. It's not, I don't really know if it's that big, to be honest. I don't really know. I've been to the campus like plenty because my sister goes there for those of you who don't know my sister goes to Kennesaw so I like see the campus but I don't like I'm not like going to classes so oh my gosh when I went to Kennesaw for the very first time I went with my best friend my sister was touring hilarious people that go to Kennesaw they were hilarious that's all I'm gonna say they were absolutely hilarious I was like dying the whole time but anyway Kennesaw is absolutely beautiful I don't think there's anything that truly like I don't like like about Kennesaw their campus is nice I said that their dorms don't get me started Kennesaw has literally the nicest dorms of all the schools that I've toured because it's a newer school so that's a given their dorms are so nice so if you're in a younger grade and you're looking at schools and you're thinking if you're in Georgia or maybe you're not in Georgia, but you want to come to Georgia, check out Kennesaw because it's a nice behind school, okay? Okay. Go Owls. <laughs> Is this your thing? Hmm, I think. I don't know. Go Owls. <laughs> next. All right, y'all. So the next school is Auburn University. I went there for swim camp. Your girl had a vision, okay? I was swimming when I got to college. But yeah, so I liked Auburn. I really liked their campus. From what I, this was a minute ago, but from what I can remember, I don't remember all that much like greenery, but mind you, when I was there, I was like in the dorms. Let me talk about that, hold up. Their dorms, where we stayed, it was the old dorms. I'm talking box AC, like, I was like, what? wow i was like what no that these dorms are old like i had high expectations for the dorms i mean this one it was like a two by one no it wasn't even that it was a double like i slept here and my roommate slept slept there and it was a bathroom in the room but aside from that the dorm the dorms that we stayed in they were old so i didn't actually see any other dorms and i was going from like gym to gym to swimming pool to outdoor swimming pool to cafeteria back to my room so i didn't see too much and i don't think i ever went back to officially tour auburn but it was still one that was on my list because i know they have a good swim program clearly i swam with a gold medalist when i was there like i was like okay and i was young but anyways yeah auburn was nice so that is a school that i always kept in mind still keep in mind but like i kept in mind throughout making my decision does that kind of give away that i'm not going to auburn maybe i don't know well auburn you can scratch that one off i'm not going to auburn but yeah this was a school that i looked at and looked into first of all auburn their stats like your act scores and all that stuff has to be pretty decent like i did not know they were that high when i was like going at the time but, like when i went to apply or like went to look at their stuff their application all that stuff i was like oh i didn't know like it was that high good school here next <laughs> all right moving along we got cornell university this shirt don't play with it. This shirt, I was like, oh, that one's cute. I'm getting that one. So Cornell, if y'all don't know where Cornell is, Cornell is up there in New York. Ithaca, New York. So y'all already know, I like, my first thing that, like, with Cornell, it's cold. It's extremely cold up there. When I went to Cornell, 18 degrees when I arrived, I was like, so when we went on the tour, the girl, the tour lady, or the lady who was running that dorm area, she was like, oh, it's actually warming up here. Y'all should have been here last week. I was like, warming up? 18 degrees? It's freezing. I was freezing, y'all. It was so cold. But yeah, Cornell was nice. I went there for my friend's mom is in the medical field. So we went up there and we kind of did like different seminar type things. And yeah. That's where I learned to do my first suture. So Cornell will always have a special place in my heart. Maybe even when I go there in the fall. 
anyways yeah but Cornell always has a special place in my heart because that's where I learned like a suture like hello baby I learned how to suture at Cornell but yeah Cornell was nice when I went there I did look at the swimming pool the only thing I had to say about that was it was like kind of small I'll put a picture but it was like small but the food was good everything about Cornell I like Cornell the only thing that kind of was like was the fact that it was cold it's freezing up there obviously like it's in New York but it, it was freezing that's really the only thing that I had to say about Cornell but I don't know I could use a few more Ugg boots like everybody loves a good Ugg boots so I don't know all right, y'all, so the next one, you already see Carolina. And in case you don't know, we're talking about USC, baby, don't play. All right, so University of South Carolina, nothing but good things to say about this. I mean, I got, I mean, I got, whatever. Anyway, so the first thing about South Carolina, literally their campus. I love their campus, like, and I know I went to South Carolina. I went here around the same time as I went to NC State. So it could be because I was comparing the two. But Carolina had a beautiful campus. Like, if you like the little greenery aspect of campus, like feeling like you're on campus at a college, check them out. It was beautiful. I loved it. I went to their gym, see the pool and all that stuff. It was cool. We saw, I saw the divers when I went to South Carolina. It was cool. But their campus was very nice. I don't remember much about the actual, like, school, like, the actual tour that we went on. But, yeah, aside from that, it was really nice. And one thing that I, like, really took pride in, took pride in. Girl, you don't even go there yet. Like, what are you talking about? You take pride in it. But, yeah, one thing I really noted when I went there was their campus. It's literally beautiful. Like, I saw people in their little, what the thing is called? Mama! You know when the people hang in the tree and those little things? What is that called? But anyway, when I was there, one thing I truly remember, people were in the courtyard. They call it the horseshoe there or whatever, but it's their courtyard. And people had, they were like laying in their hammocks, reading books, they had a little penis like, And I was like, okay, I like that. <laughs> Noted. I like that. But yeah, next. Up next, up next, up next, we have Mercer University. That's here in Georgia. It's a private university. But I, main thing for me is literally the campus. Their campus is beautiful. I don't think, I never took an official tour of Mercer. I went because my sister went there for camp. So I was like, oh, hold up. Let me check these bears out. So, you know, I kind of did my own research on Mercer. And it's in Georgia, but I never toured it. But that's that's beside the point. When I went there, we did drive around and walk around their campus. It was absolutely beautiful. I don't, I mean, I know they're a pretty good school, like academically and all that stuff, but I don't know too much about it to say what I like or dislike. All I know is they had a beautiful campus and it was one school that I actually did consider going to, one school that I applied to and all that good stuff. And yeah. Alright guys, so next up we have University of Georgia. Obviously, this is in Georgia. Everybody knows Georgia for their football, but Back when I was like starting to look at schools like 10th grade, I didn't care about none of that stuff. Like, I mean, I tuned in for one reason and one reason only, but I didn't really care about that stuff. So I was like, okay, cool, Georgia plays football. The only reason Georgia got on my list is because I actually applied there for vet camp because your girl was about to be a veterinarian. But yeah, so that's the only reason I ever looked at this school. So I really liked their campus when I went there. I stayed for like a week, so their food was good and the campus was nice. But aside from that, I didn't know too much about Georgia, but it was still an option that I was like, let me consider, let me look into it. And yeah, beautiful campus, cool people when I went, good food. You can't beat that. Next. All right, up next we got Howard University. You know your girl was going there for swimming and diving. We got Howard, let me hear you say it, H-U. I ain't gonna say it because I don't know if it's like a thing you say only if you like go to school there. So I ain't gonna say it. I'm gonna just wait my turn because I'm having my time to say it, okay? But yeah, Howard. One thing I remember about Howard, it's literally dead in the middle of the city. Not like NC State in the middle of the city. It's like you're out chilling with your friends in high school and boom, you see the college students right there. It's like right in the middle of the city. It's a pretty big campus. It's a little similar to Tuskegee because it's HBCU, like, kind of, like, old looking on the outside. But once you get in the inside, it's kind of, like, more modern, more up-to-date. Just a little bit. I remember, like, going for, like, the very first orientation. And then after that, we went and there was, like, a little cafeteria down the same little area. So it was cool to see that stuff. I mean, it's pretty. It wasn't all that cold when I went there. It wasn't, like, Cornell cold. Nothing, like, 
New York cold, but it was pretty cold there too. So that's another thing that I was like, let me keep in mind. And I know like their swim program is not all that big, but hey, they have one. A lot of those schools like don't even have a swim program. So I was like, okay. But yeah, Howard, that was the next one. Go Bisons. <laughs> All right, y'all, and I'm back in regular clothes. So y'all already know what part of the video we are getting to. Can I get a drum roll? No, girl, hold up. Anyway, yeah, so those are just the few schools that were actually like a strong considering point for me. Some of them, most of them were out of state. A few of them were in state. But those are schools that I was just like, okay, I missed my finger. But those schools like, okay, yeah, these are the ones I seriously want to visit or like go to like when it's my time. But I will say I have been to other colleges like Georgia Tech, if you're looking at them still here in Georgia, beautiful, like if you're like looking for their athletic department to die for, their gym and stuff is gorgeous. Their pool, because you know, I was swimming. Their pool, beautiful. University of West Georgia, their food, bomb. I had to stay there for camp. So I was there all week. I went to the cafeteria. I marched. They have a lot of hills at their campus. But aside from that, their campus, it kind of, seems kind of small from the portion that I saw of it. But it was nice. Their dorms, a little bit small. But yeah, I went to Duke. Beautiful freaking campus. It doesn't give me college vibes though. It gives me like, I'm out of the country. And it gives me castle vibes. Like if you've been to Duke, castle vibes, but their food good great awesome literally to die for like their food was good but yeah so i've been to other colleges but those are just the ones that were like okay these are the ones i'm truly considering and yeah i guess now it's time for me to tell you where i'm going to college can i get a drum roll please all right so i'm gonna tell y'all right now that is where I'm going and I know so I decided to go to Georgia because first of all I literally fell in love with just the atmosphere when I went I went for vet camp and I was like oh snap like I truly never considered Georgia because for one I wasn't staying in state at all I was getting out of Georgia but I went there for vet camp I love the people that I was working with the people that I met that went to the school I love the campus like the environment like and I was all over the campus it's huge but I don't mind that like I love everything about it. the food that was a good the academics program that was good their sports entertaining you you couldn't I couldn't beat it I literally couldn't beat it so I actually did apply to the University of Georgia Early Action and surprisingly, I got accepted. Y'all saw my reaction video already, but in case you kind of missed it, let's breeze past it. I'll put it right here. Oh, I'm so scared. What did they say? So in the morning, I Georgia, but I'm super happy that that's where I decided to go. I so look forward to being there. I've talked to so many people who are already there, like who got there last year from class of 2019. Well, that's not last year, but class of 2019, a lot of those people actually helped me so much like throughout the process, telling me things that I might need to know, things to look for, all this, that, and the other. I've been getting letters and emails and I've actually like gone on Zoom calls and talked to them. It's been super cool. I absolutely love everything that it stands for and I'm super excited to be a bulldog baby. Go dogs, okay? So yeah, I decided to go to the University of Georgia and I will have an informative video coming on my channel just talking about how I got to the University of Georgia, my stats, all that and the other, the essay, just the application process. So if you are new here and you want to see that information, go ahead and subscribe, join the family, and you don't want to miss out, so go ahead and turn on your post notifications so when I post that video, you already you already get the notification to watch it. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It was actually super fun to film. I actually find letting you guys know where I'm going because so many, like even when I got accepted back in November, only like a handful of people knew. So I'm super excited to finally tell everybody. So y'all can come along with me on this journey. But yeah, super excited. 
Go dogs, UJ, that's where I'll be sitting in the fall. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And if you're new to the channel, turn on your post notifications so you'll get a video. And remember, if you're not lit, you must exit. Okay, okay. Uh -uh.